Uh, here's the hard drive, so let's get to it. Uh, so I have a 1.5 terabyte hard drive that's been giving some trouble. So I figured I'd just get another hard drive so I can back up all the stuff preemptively in case it decides to finally go. Um, so I bought this Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive to back up all the stuff off the other one and start using this primarily for my storage backup. And get rid of that. Take you out of there. Put this over there. And there's the hard drive. Western Digital 2 terabyte, 64 megabyte cache. It's set at 3, so speeds aren't as fast as one would hope for, but it will get the job done. I don't really plan on accessing this stuff here too frequently that I save onto this hard drive, so it'll work out okay. Uh, Alright, let's get into this bad boy. Uh, but we need our handy dandy cutting implement. There we go. Alrighty. I'll make the incision. Blues, clues, blues, clues. Bam! Alrighty. Now that we got that open, safety first, put in your cutting implement. And here's the bad boy Western Digital with their green desktop hard drive technology I think they get like 40% more efficiency out of these things they run at cooler temperatures and supposedly it's good for the environment I don't really understand how that is good for the environment but according to them it's good for the environment hence why it's green because I guess it uses less poor consumption and temperatures are lower so yeah 64 megabytes of cache that can do no wrong for now anyways hopefully it doesn't start dying on me or not work when I put it in so yeah typical hard drive there you go your connectors are on the back your SATA power SATA connector to the mobile and jumper assignment but yeah those are not usually just automatically assigned because it doesn't really matter because my SSD is going to be the primary OS any goddamn way um, so yeah that's basically it. Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive so until next time keep on gaming